Hello, Internet. James Allen from Out of 8. And today I'm playing driving adventure game Jalopy. Game recently came out of early access. In it, you drive an old dilapidated car through Eastern Europe and the uh, you know former Soviet republics in the area around there, trying to reach the end of the journey. Uh, so I'm going to continue the uh, game that I have currently going. Not quite sure where I'm at, but we'll find out shortly enough. Uh, you start off in uh, bed from uh, the last night, basically. The game saves your progress when you sleep overnight in a hotel. Um, in order to make it through the journey, what you have to do is maintain and upgrade parts in your car. The way you do that is there are little boxes scattered across the side of the road every once in a while, and you sell those objects in order to earn more money uh, in order to continue your journey. So... Here's your uncle that you're taking with you. We shall try another day today. So he's going to get in the car. Uh, and then we will drive to the nearest gas station and then uh, kind of survey the condition of the car while we're over there. So shut the door. Uh, you just simply, you know, look around and click to interact with the objects. So I'm going to put this in the transmission. You can also hold down the right mouse button to zoom in. So we will select a route. Gives you three uh, randomized choices. Uh, I don't necessarily want to do uh, the dangerous road, so I'm going to probably choose this one in the middle. And then it triggers the rain there. Uh, and... Uh, Put the parking brake down and away we go. So try to remember where the gas station is. You know, I know. All right, papers is. Eh, I can't do the wipers right now. Hold on. There we go. There's the wipers. All right, so let's find where the gas station is. I think it's up this way. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember from uh, the previous night. So this is a pretty uh, crappy old car. Uh, and then eventually we're gonna go. Yeah, shut up. Uh, into the checkpoint right there, into the next country. It's important to uh, make sure your car is in good enough shape when you uh, before you leave the town because you can run out of gasoline and parts will break down and stuff like that. So I think yeah, that's right over there. If you have enough money, you can also go in and upgrade your car with various parts. I'll show that shop off as well, uh, which I think is down the other way. I get this close enough where I can fill up. All right, let's turn the car off. Get out. Pop the hood where the fuel thing is. All right, so we'll open that too. So the first thing I want to do is fill up the tank. So I have four liters of fuel, so we're bringing it up to nine. Then use the middle mouse button to put that back. I do need to add some oil into that, so I will grab my oil can or, you know, bottle, whatever, and add it into the engine until the mix is optimal. There we go. And that is all of that, actually. But you can sell that bottle back for a dollar. So I'm going to grab a basket because I do have some stuff that I found on the side of the road to sell. So I'll put that in there and then pick this up. I do have a flat tire. Alright, so I want to sell this tobacco. And this medicine. If I can get mouse on it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't want to sell the crowbar. No, not going to do it. There it is. All right. all right, so that's all the stuff from the trunk I want to uh, grab. All right, so I need two tires. That one's dead. This one has durability of one. 
that one's flat, and that one has durability of two. As for my engine, uh, fuel tank's okay, my air filter's dead, my carburetor's okay, and my stock engine's okay, so I actually just need to repair my air filter a little bit. Uh, and then the ignition coil is still fine. And if I go over here to the battery, I think the battery's okay-ish. All right, so let's go grab this. And we'll sell all this junk. And then we'll see what repair stuff we have. All right, so I owe five bucks for the fuel, but I'm going to sell all that. going to give me 68 bucks, which is good. And I want to get a repair kit and a tire repair kit. So we'll buy both of those, and I need some more oil. Probably could use another tire, to be honest. Uh, yeah, let's just buy a tire. Actually, let me see. Now, yeah, could use wet, but... Yeah, we'll buy one tire. All right, I gotta go grab my wallet. I always forget my wallet. I end up making money off of this, which is good. Grab my wallet. You just have to like put this in. There we go. So now I'm up to 107. I can just middle mouse button that out. You can carry three things at once. I think the only thing I really actually need to repair right now in the engine is the air filter. So I'll bring that up to two. Everything else is at least two. Try to keep everything at two. The battery was at two. Alright, so we're going to put this in the trunk. Alright, I'm going to put that in the trunk. And this I'm going to use on one of my tires. I replace that one to be honest. All right, so grab my jack. And loosen the nut. And then you just use that on there and it's fixed and then tighten it back on. Okay, so now that's back up to uh better. Better than it was anyway. Alright, I do want to get rid of that other tire, so we'll replace this one. You just hold down the mouse button and then do that. I don't even know if this has any sell value. Maybe like one dollar or something. Can you buy that? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> just leave it there. Oh wait, I gotta grab my new tire, don't I? Probably should grab that. Better tire. And then we can get out of here. Alright, we are good to go. Hopefully. Close that. Close that. And let's go. I will show off the dealership. Ugh, am I stuck? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. <laughs> really? Alright. Come on, man. What am I even stuck on? Yeah, that's cool. I am actually stuck. Awesome! When I jacked up the car, it stuck itself. Sweet! I don't think I'm going to be able to get off of this. And yeah, turning the car on. Yeah, that's unfortunate. 
Well, and that basically uh, breaks your game there because it undo you know, it, it only saves at night, so that kind of undoes all your progress, which is annoying. All right, well, let's see. Yeah, I think I just jacked it up right onto the curb. No, I don't want to drop that. I do want to drop that. The game is kind of wonky even though it's out of uh, early access. Yep, turning the car on basically made me stuck. So, I am stuck. So that's cool. Alright, well, all of the stuff I just did is uh, <laughs> not going to save. Uh, so because I'm stuck, I'm just going to uh, quit to the main menu. And then reload it. And then I'll show off the repair thing and then just show you what some of the journey is. I'm not going to be able to uh, make it. Although I might save some of my parts, at least. We'll see when we get to the car again. So I do want to show off the dealership before I leave the town. That's right, so back in the hotel room. Not where we were, because it doesn't save your progress like that. It just brings you back to the hotel. Well, we'll be able to tell based on what the tires look like and how much money's in the wallet as to whether it saved my total progress or not. Looks okay. Yes. Uh, let me see how much money I got. This looks alright, actually. Yep, so it did save all those purchases I made, but you're back at the hotel for whatever reason. All right, so. And I got to reselect the map. So as you'll see, they're different. Uh, so well, shoot. Let's pick the shortest one. Still have to wait for the rain to fully process. All right, so let's try to find the dealership. Yeah, I know. You said that last time. Still not listening. I think it's actually right next door. Yeah. Could have walked. That's right. All right, so let me just show you what you can do in here. If you have the money, which I actually do now, but I'm still not going to spend it. you got to save some money for the hotel at night. So you can go in... Yep, and look through their catalog, which is right there. So you can upgrade engine parts, uh, fuel tanks, carburetor, air filter, all the parts in your engine. Uh, and then you can actually do little upgrades like a roof rack if you want, stuff like that. Uh, so pretty interesting. You can invest a lot of money there, but again, a lot of these things are expensive. Um, and it's almost cheaper to, to just... Uh, you know, repair stuff until you have a really huge flow of money. So, not anything I'm interested in doing right now, though. Alright, so let's get out of this town, finally. So, going to back up without hitting anything. Alright. Such a nice day for a drive. I like how the one windshield wiper stops working periodically. Alright, so they do not allow for tobacco products in the next country. They change what the uh, forbidden goods are. Ugh, can't drive. 
Oh, good. Am I gonna get stuck? Am I stuck again? <sighs> That's awesome. Yep, I am stuck again. This is turning out really well. Oh, there we go. Gosh. Alright, so you gotta give him your passport. This <laughs> threw me for a loop the first time. You have to remember to roll down the window. I was stuck and I could not figure out what to do. Yes, thank you. Please let me try to go. Oh good, I got out of there. Whew. Worry there for a minute. There's the cop guy. They don't even check your trunk unless the guy's on your side, so actually I probably could have saved the tobacco, and since he wasn't ins inspecting that, I could have smuggled it in to the country and then sold it in here for like a huge amount of money at the gas station, but that's all right. And this is the rest of it. You're just kind of driving along these roads. Uh, they end up being the same. You know, they recycle the same uh, pieces of road and then the same roads overall. Um... But yeah, you know, you just kind of reach your next destination. Keep an eye out for boxes along the side of the road while you're going. Uh, and then kind of repeat the process and see how far you can get before your car gets where you can't afford to repair it. So we'll make it to the next town and then, you know, that'll kind of be it. Not very much traffic on the roads. You'll very rarely see another car. Um, but usually you don't even have anybody else to worry about. There's some of there. Yeah. This should be a fun drive. I'm probably gonna run out of gas, which is fine. Traction during the rain is not great. Oh, this will be super awesome. I'm basically driving in a river. I'm watching. Oop, there's a box. So like I said, I just gotta keep an eye out for him. This one has a padlock on it, so what I can do is pop my trunk grab the crowbar and then uh, break the lock off. What'd I get? Yeah, medicine. That's not terribly exciting. Alright, let's keep on trucking. I can actually get the engine started. There he goes, finally. Go. Nope, well, that was fun. Not really. They got a box out of it, though. Only 210. All the towns are border towns, too, so. And then you get a little storyline, too. At night, you can uh, read his little journal uh, stuff he has in his briefcase, little papers and stuff. It advances the storyline, also. I'm probably going to run out of gas. There's a one pothole. 
damages your car, as you would imagine. You see, when the smoke starts rising from your engine, that means one of your pieces in your engine uh, is getting damaged. Yeah, who picked this route? Scrapyard. You also encounter these uh, little scrapyard areas too that leave little parts for cars out in front. I might check this out actually. Let's see what it has. Anything good? Uh. Stock fuel tank. Three out of three battery, I might swap that out. Stock stuff. Alright. I might swap some of that out. Turn the dang windshield wipers off though. Alright, let's see. Engines two out of three. Uh, air filter is one out of three. Oh, this didn't have an air filter. Huh, of course. Carburetor is two out of three. Get the battery out. Alright, what else does this have? Carburetor for three. Eh. I guess. Might as well. Alright. Ignition coil is getting pretty low. Alright, that's enough. Unfortunately, you can't put those other parts. I can't fit them in my trunk. Oh, come on. So, otherwise you could sell them and get more money. Eventually, I'll be able to start my car. Maybe. No? Not gonna let me do it? No, apparently not gonna let me do it. I did put everything back in my car. Didn't I? Now oh, it's night time. Yeah, battery, engine. It's all in there. Ignition coil is fine. So what are you complaining about? It's like it won't let me do any any of those things. Maybe I just need to swap the battery back out. No, I don't know.
Yeah, they didn't like that other battery, I guess. That's alright. Alright. Sorry, other battery. Kind of got the hint when I couldn't turn the lights or the windshield wipers on with the car off. Alright. See if we can get the rest of the way incident free. My guess is no. I think I'm going to run out of fuel, but we'll see. Going like 20 kilometers per hour. So slow. This thing doesn't even have enough power to, like, go in reverse down this hill. I'm almost stuck. Again. Like the 50th time. Come on. Yeah, it just, like, slides down the hill when I'm in reverse. Yeah, I'm basically, well, yeah, whatever. This is... The <laughs> a fitting end, stuck sideways in the rain on a mountain. So, I mean, that's jalopy. The t next town is a little bit away and it has the same stuff every other town does. It has a gas station, a repair place, and a hotel. So, I mean, that's basically it. And, you know, you just kind of drive, you know, 20 minutes or so between each town of real time. Upgrade your car by, uh, you know, finding randomly placed box on the boxes on the side of the road containing stuff you can sell. Uh, make sure your car is in working order. Kind of follow the storyline. And that's it. There's not really that much to it. I mean, it's fine for what it is. You know, an interesting little, uh, you know, adventure game. But it doesn't really offer much in the way of replay value. Even though the weather conditions are randomized, the routes are have some little weather differences and stuff. It really does repeat the same kind of puzzle pieces over again. Um, you know, you can choose between your three routes, but... Uh, I do like the setting, and I like the premise of it. It just doesn't deliver on a lot of captivating gameplay to make you want to play more than, uh, you know, once or twice through it, uh, just to try different routes and stuff like that. And you can get really unlucky about how many boxes you encounter and, uh, you know, how frequently the pieces in your car break as well. So uh, there's some randomization in there that can really uh, hinder your ability to complete the game. Uh, so I think it's a, a slight recommendation on it. It's an interesting game to kind of take a look at once, you know, or twice through. But other than that, I won't have much uh, longevity beyond that. That's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.